But you know guys, I am a person who loves makeup and if I'm doing this on myself, I would totally and like a little liner on top of this and this is my dog. Rachel, can you come here baby? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and um, first things first, I'm so sorry I sound a bit like a man. I'm still recovering from a very bad flu and um, yeah, throughout the video I've been a bit coughing and <coughs> sneezing and all that, that my voice was like clear enough, okay? Basically, I wanted to bring to you this look, another sari look with this like beautiful, um, my blouse is off shoulder and then this is the sari that I'm wearing. Let me just step it up a bit. It's a very nice tissue um, organza sari. So yeah, basically it's a very nice, very light weight um, organza sari and I wanted to just pair, pair it with this beautiful um, makeup look and this nose ring and it's like in trend right now. So I just, I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, basically the look is so simple. I just used two or three eyeshadow shades, lashes, liner and a berry lip. That's about it. I think anyone can do it. With my hair, I just did this old Hollywood kind of curls. And um, yeah, that's why if you're interested to know how I get this hairstyle, like basically these curls, do let me know. I'll probably do it in another video. But for today, I've only got like the makeup look for you. So thank you so much for watching. And um, yeah, if you like this look, please subscribe to my channel and give this a thumbs up and hit the ring bell notification so you will be notified every single time I upload a video. So yeah, thank you so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! So yeah, I'm just gonna use some color corrector under my eyes and this, um, basically it's gonna neutralize all the grey undertones on your, um, on your skin. And this is the reason why, um, if you skip this step and you have dark circles, this is basically the reason why you um, have a grey look once you apply concealer because you're not using a corrector and yeah like I said the corrector helps to neutralize the um, green undertones in your pigmentation so yeah that's that okay so the next thing will be to apply foundation and you can use whatever foundation you like and let me see what shall I use today I have like a million foundations in front of me okay let's use this this is um, Le Masca Skin Base Foundation. Okay, if you have um, attended any of my classes, you will know that Le Masca is one of the main brands I carry in my kit for my foundations. And this is a skin base. The other one they have is the... Um, what is it called? Rich Liquid. Alright, that one is much more heavier coverage as compared to this one. This is much more natural. So I really like their foundations. I think they are also one of the most underrated brands and people don't use them a lot, people don't talk about them a lot but I'm telling you, they have one of the most amazing foundations ever. So yeah, do check them out, they're my scarf. Microfiber sponge that I got from Juno. This is the Juno sponge. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, I did a small mini review about this sponge a couple of days ago. Um, yeah, and I really like it as I mentioned in my video. I really like the fact that it doesn't absorb the product as compared to other brands out there. The five, the material used to make this product is basically microfiber and it doesn't absorb the product. So you don't end up using more than you need. And when you use beauty blenders, you end up using a bit more foundation or concealer because basically it just absorbs your product. But this one doesn't and it gives a maximum coverage as you can see this is what I would get if I use a brush but now I get it using a sponge and I really really love it the concealer the one that I really love and I use this all the time is my Makeup Forever full cover concealer and to be honest I just don't even bother trying other brands because this one's really so good I just want to show you guys the product that I got when I bought 
did my foundations from Inner My Scar. So basically it's the gel sculpt. It's a small little tester size, but it's a contour stick. Alright, so oh my god, it looks black. Yeah, it looks black, right? Okay, let's try. So I have no idea how this is gonna look, but let's try. Oh okay, so it's not it's not really pigmented, it's not black as you can see. And it feels like ooh, it feels like wow. It feels very um like a gel texture, that's why it's called a gel stick. It's very hard to draw two straight lines with this, but I'm just gonna try. Because it's round, right? So now let me set all this with like a loose powder and the powder that I use is by Dermacolor and this is a product that you can get from Cosmoprof Academy which is at um, Homo Mall, Seligi Road right? So just google them, Cosmoprof Academy and yeah, you can get the full range of their product there Basically this is a translucent waterproof powder and um, knowing the fact that I have for oily skin, I need something that's going to make sure that my, my makeup is not going to melt in this weather. Singapore is a humid country. So yeah, that's why I really like using this and uh, yeah, it's quite affordable. Okay, so now moving on, I'm going to apply my face powder and for that I'm still going to stick with my, um, my Juno sponge. I've been really liking the powder application with this sponge lately. So I just want to apply on the areas that I didn't contour and highlight. So basically just around here. And then I'm gonna go in with my lighter shade of powder, which is my this is by Sephora and it's their I don't know what this powder is called. It's basically a Sephora compact powder and it's in the shade 20. That's all I know. I don't know the name of the powder. So this I use under my eyes as my highlighting powder. And this is like three shade lighter. So it really brightens your under eye and makes your eyes look way wide awake. So basically wherever I highlighted with my concealer just now, I'm just gonna apply this powder. Before I contour, I like to bronze and I don't bronze my nose. I only apply contour powder on my nose but for my face, I like to bronze, okay? So for that, I'm using my Ebony Bronzer from CoverGirl. This is like limited edition so if you don't have this, you can't get it. Um, please just get whatever um, 
whatever is available like uh, as long as it's a powder that's matte and it doesn't have any form of shimmer in it it can even be a face powder that's like three shades darker than your skin tone go for it so you don't have to use the exact product that i use okay well, let me find a brush okay okay Basically, this just frames my face and gives me some dimension. So now I will contour with my contour powder. And the palette that I love and I've been using for a long time now is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. So these are the colours. I basically use the middle shade and the dark shade to contour my nose and my face. As you all know, I can never never live without a nose contour like look at what it does to my nose <sighs> I just love nose contour I'm just dapping around the lines making sure it's not too dark and it doesn't look like I have two brown visible lines on my nose that's so artificial so make sure you blend it in nicely, like so. And you want to start from under your eyebrows so it looks really natural, like a natural shadow forming on your nose. So just do sweet brown lines. Alright, that's done. Okay, so just very lightly I'm going to contour my cheeks. I usually don't really contour my cheeks, I just leave it with bronzer. So I said I'm really lazy with my own makeup. But when I do my clients, I go full on. I just like to contour this right there to give myself that very chiseled, slimming effect. But actually, in real life, I'm not that chiseled, so yeah, it's all makeup. So, let's start. Okay, so another highlight that I've been loving, I've been loving, okay, the reason why I bought this was because I was just short of probably like. $20 to get free shipping when I ordered my foundation from Hermes Cup. So then I was just looking through the website and thinking, okay, I'd rather buy a product than pay for the shipping. That's just how I am. So um, I got this highlighter and it was just a gamble because no one talks about this and there are hardly any reviews online about this um, Hermes Cup highlight powder and it's so huge. Look at it. Alright, so this one's called OMG. And it's really OMG. <laughs> it's not one of those blinding highlights that really like you know blinds you. But you know what? I go to phases with my highlights. Sometimes I like a blinding highlight, sometimes I don't. As of now, I'm just like kind of laid back and chill. I just want something very natural and that makes me look like I'm glowing from within. So yeah, like by, by next week I might like a blinding highlight. So I don't know. So this is one of those that's really beautiful. And it's so suitable for someone who's like going to work every day and you don't want something that's so blinding. Okay, honestly, in, in cam on camera, it's picking it up a lot more than in real life. So trust me, in real life, it's not even like that. It's really subtle and it's more of a glow rather than like a full-on shine like what you see right now. So do give it a try and it's so huge. And with Illa Mesca, you can get like... I like their blushes, I like their, um, what do you call that, their foundations, oh my god, I need block. I'll put a link to the website below, so you can check it out, like, hmm, trust me, in real life it's not even really like that, okay, so it's really subtle and nice. Love, I love, love, love to highlight my cupid's bow and my nose. Like, that's just my thing. Absolutely love it. It looks so extra on camera, but it's not on real life. This is too much. But it's okay, whatever. So now moving on to blush. And I've been. Re okay, let me use a Nila Mesca blush and show you now. I don't really reach out for it, but this is a very nice blush and it's called Thrust, not Trust, Thrust. Alright, so it's a really 
nice like purple shade and since it matches with the outfit that I'm going for today and they're really pigmented so you have to be very light handed with it in Singapore but now they close down so you only get them online now at this point my face is done I just need to set my face with some fix plus god I'm still having fever so this is like uh, it's so cold okay so now moving on okay so I hope you follow me on Instagram because I did mention that this Huda Beauty um over Achiever Concealer It sucks big time and I paid $50 for this one so I'm really pissed off I can't return it really in Singapore I wish I was in America or Australia where they accept returns So I'm just going to use this as my eye base So you know what, I don't waste it I really bought it So I'm just going to squeeze a bit out And basically I'm just going to Set it with um, you have to set it with powder before you apply your eyeshadow because if not it might crease. So I'm just going to hold on and use my baby beauty blender. This is by Dirty Dirties and they come in like a pack of 30 of these small little babies. This is so cute. I'm use this to set my and it sets really fast, it's annoying. It doesn't even give you any time to like blend. Oh my god, quick, quick, quick. Okay, so it's done. I would suggest you doing one eye at a time because, as you can see, it's already set and it's not giving me any movement. Basically this look is just going to be something very simple, anyone can recreate, I just want to do, I just want to make sure that my looks are, you know, something that you can relate to, not something that is so extravagant and, people, and like the normal person watching me will not be able to recreate, it's like, it's such a waste of my time making such videos because I want to make sure that you guys follow what I do and you know my steps are easy enough that you can recreate it and actually wear it in real life. So yeah, that's my aim. Okay, so um, basically the palette that I'm going to use, one of them is going to be the Juvia's Lace uh, Nubian 2. Alright, this palette and it comes with some pretty amazing colours. Okay, so for my first transition colour, I'm going to go for... So you can use any brown that you have in your own collection, you don't really have to use this palette. Apply this on my crease and I promise the eyeshadow look is really simple and it's all about the liner and lashes that is like in style right now <coughs> so I'm just going to roughly apply this on my crease I'm going for a flat brush. I'm going for the shade Zuri, which is the white one. Okay, I'm going to really lightly highlight my brow bone. Alright, okay. So you need a small little pencil brush like that. I'm going for the same shade and I'm going to highlight my inner corner. is it makes your eyes look so much more awake and bigger it just brightens up the entire look I'm so sorry this part was not recorded I didn't press the record button so I'm doing it again here for you so what I did was I picked up this color on a flat synthetic brush well this is a bit of a mixture of a synthetic and a, a real animal hair brush okay and then I spritz it with my MAC fix plus 
once like that, okay? And then I pressed it onto my eyelids. Okay, because I'm brown and the eyeshadow is brown as well. I don't know if you can see it. But yeah, there you go. So when you wet it and you apply it like that, it makes the eyeshadow look more metallic as compared to just applying it dry. Can you see the difference? So yeah, that's what I did for my entire eyelid. Okay, so my camera has been like overheating. That's why I went ahead and did my low lashes. I just applied some mascara and I also applied my sari now. I mean I put on my sari. So I have to get this done quick because it's overheating. I have no idea what's up. Alright, so the next step after you apply your bronze eyeshadow like I've done here, you're just going to apply um, liquid liner or whatever liner that you want to use. The one I'm using is NYC liquid liner. So go ahead and use any liner that you have and you're comfortable with and basically just draw a wing liner and I'm not going to apply anything on the bottom. I'm just going to apply a wing liner and apply my lashes and I'm just going to move fast forward this part, alright? apply my lashes and you can see how it's really transformed the entire look and of course I applied my kukti as well so let me put my sari nicely um, yeah oh no let me just okay once I do my lipstick I'll zoom you out a bit so that you can see my entire look so I'm just gonna go for this like very uh, lipstick and this is um legit from Kate Makeup I just wanted to keep it easy and something that anyone can recreate is just one eyeshadow or no two and lashes and liner and accessories so it's about it guys it's super easy especially when you're wearing Indian outfits you just want to make sure you go easy on the makeup because we have so much of accessories to wear and we have like a lot going on on our studies so go easy on the makeup and everything else will fall in place well so there you go